Uh, welcome to the demonstration of fall tolerant multi sync uh, sensor network. Now, this is an only simulation. Uh, if you observe here, uh, we have four sinks uh, in four corners, and there are sensor nodes. The objective is to send the data from source nodes to different sync nodes. Uh, and when the simulation starts and after the simulation runs for some time uh, this uh, different uh, icons that you see over here they represent the source node when you run for some time you'll see root request packets will be flowing and then um, you'll get to see the root reply packets over here so okay. and when certain root reply packets have been Answer. We can look for printing the roots. Uh, so, node number 28 is uh, one of the source nodes. Uh, we have the 28 node number 28 over here, and it is trying to communicate to node number 2. So, node number 2 is over here, which is a sync node. 28 goes to node number 20, node number 20 is here, 35, 35 is here, uh, 31, 31 is close over here and uh, somewhere here and uh, we have this node over here. So uh, every node forms a path uh, till one of the sinks and all the paths will be demonstrated uh, over here for every sink node there will be multiple paths so that if one part fails it can immediately take over the transmission with uh, another part so for instance node number 22 is trying to communicate uh, with node number 2 so 22 goes to node number 11 which is here then from here 20 which is here from 20 it goes to 17 which is here from 17 it goes to 31 31 is somewhere over here and from 31 it comes over here so all right so as the uh, data transmission uh, keeps on happening, uh, the nodes will be start losing their energy. You know, the nodes will be start losing their energy in a great deal. As you can see, the node becoming red demonstrates the loss of energy of the nodes. And as they keep on losing the energy, as they keep on losing the energy, the path will be, uh, you know, cleaned up. Now, if we increase this uh, same simulation, we have our Omnet PP config file. From where I can change the simulation parameter decent here using Omnet PP, and I'll run the simulation once more to show you what's going on. So initially, the data transmission will happen, and then when the nodes in a specific area loses their energy, as you can see, the nodes are losing their energy and links are so. The sensors, <coughs> the source nodes links get increased such that they can cover the distance over a long period. So the objective is that when a void region gets created, the source node must uh, increase their transmission range in order to reach the sink. Then when you do that, you have a sustained uh, packet delivery ratio, you have a good control overhead, throughput, latency, which you can of course plot at the end. Thanks.